guys, what's good? Welcome back to the mother freaking channel, Kawaii Gang. So today's video is gonna be a really fun PR unboxing. I also have some nail mail from my friend and some other miscellaneous stuff to get into, but this video is gonna be pretty long, so it's gonna be a two-parter. This first half, we're going to be unboxing and swatching, and I'm just gonna be giving you my detailed feedback. The second half, we're going to actually do a look so if you like content like this if this is your first time here make sure that you guys subscribe give this video a thumbs up so i know that you like it and before we get into the unboxing if any of you guys out there are business owners or freelancers like me you need to have your own business banking account one of the mistakes that i made early on was having all of my business expenses and my personal expenses jumbled together into one personal checking account and trust me when i say this it will serve you so much more in the long run to have those two things separate and with that said i want to introduce you guys to the sponsor of today's video north one north one is a business banking platform for small business owners and freelancers designed to make banking and money management easy you don't have to go in person you can apply online within under three minutes and once you're approved you get a virtual and physical debit card so you can start for your everyday business needs you can do ach transfers wire transfers make deposits online everything's done online but you can still withdraw your cash at over 2 million plus at locations they have tons of integrations with all of your favorite platforms paypal etsy you name it they also have incredible customer service and my favorite feature is the envelopes which helps to set aside money for things that you regularly buy for your business so for me personally doing nails it's always like cleansing products cleaning products sanitizing products that you have to renew every month this helps me set aside all that money it is a flat fee of ten dollars a month no hidden fees your ach transfers are free when other banks typically charge you for that Anyways, if you guys want to try out North One, check out the link down below in the description box and the pinned comment to receive a free $10 credit when you open and fund your account. So if that sounds good to you, all that information will be down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing. Welcome back you guys. Thank you for sitting through that sponsored clip. We are gonna start this haul with email and I just inserted a clip of like everything on my desk arranged but I'm gonna start out with swatches of these new gels. I have actually pulled these out of the box and looked at them a little bit and there's like two different formulas here. These with the silver top are fun gel and they have like a white sticker. I don't really know anything about this. I haven't had a chance to like look on the website and see what's up with these new products. These with the black top and the colored stickers are called Unicorn Fantasy and I have a lot of shades of these. I'm gonna start out with these um, and we're just gonna start swatching. Let me zoom you in. It's been a long time. By the way, this is 019 from the fun gel series okay so these are like um what are they called cheese candy kind of so they're clear it's a clear base with like spots or dotted glitter matte dot glitter and so 019 is the white one of that Zero, two, three. Ooh, this is cute. This one is like purple and white. Or actually, I think the base is like jelly purple, pastel purple, and then white glitter. I really like these. These make me feel like Easter-ish. This is really cute. All right. Zero two one. Let's see her. Ooh, this one's orangey. This is so cute. Beautiful. Um, this one's zero two two from this formula. Ooh, okay. So we have a pink. So far, 
it's very like pigmented for a jelly glitter you don't need to do it more than once really and i think this is super fun this one is 020 teal they're very chunky but so cute it literally reminds me of like candy okay so those are all done now curing them let's go ahead and get started with the fantasy the unicorn fantasy so many of these i have so many this is unicorn fantasy 224 by the way a little update on my model one's nails obviously you can see that they're off my hand right now they lasted i took them off on purpose so the experiment wasn't able to run as long as i wanted it to run wow look at this color it's gold in person but on the camera it's pulling all these different shades that's really pretty 224 unicorn fantasy 224 okay so these are all the cheese candies white purple these are hella cute it reminds me of speckled eggs i love it if i can just arrange them okay here we go so those are the new fun gels I'm gonna put those to the side. Also, sorry if you're hearing noises. I am filming this in real time. And I have a cat that I rescued who has kind of like, not behavioral issues, but he's just like, he's just getting adjusted. So he's a little more talkative and loud. Ooh, this color. Oh my, she's a beauty, 226. This one has less of a chunky glitter in there, but the glitter is like blue, the shimmer. Amazing, that is so freaking pretty. All right. 231. Um, yeah, he's just this cat. He just kind of like meows randomly for no reason. He might want me to let him out. This one is 231 yellow shimmer with some pink in there. Really full coverage. Let's do this one, two, three, four. Ooh, so this one's kind of like icy white, but it has a ton of iridescent. This is two, three, four. Gorgeous. Two, two, five. Oh my god pink and gold this is so nice i really like these chunkier ones i'm noticing there's like two different i don't know formulas like a chunkier glittery one and a very like fine glittery this is two three three oh my god two three three is amazing it's like that perfect pink perfect bubblegum pink i like that it doesn't have a gold shift in it so it doesn't take away from like the pink these are very flowy i'm kind of turning this on its side to get everything in the middle let me zoom in two three three Cure her. 
Okay, two, three, two. This one's like peach. So pretty. I heard someone say that an aesthetic that they predicted that will become like a trend in summertime is going to be like mermaid, siren, fantasy or whatever. And I think these would be so perfect for that, like a mermaid look. We did mermaid nails last year for summer for that big collab. But I always end up doing something like that for summer. And these are just like perfect. Oh my God, look at this green. Super stunning. I'm so glad I decided to record my live reaction. And I'm so glad I waited to look at these. I knew they were gonna be so pretty because I think I peeked at like one of them. All right, two, two, three. This one looks like white. Ooh, amazing. This one's pulling a lot of pink iridescence within it. There's not a lot of gold, so it's not taking away from the pink in there. There is some teal in there. Oh my gosh, that was two, two, three. All right, three more. Two, two, seven. Looks purple. Yeah. Another icy lavender with some pink sparkles in here. Oh my God. All right. The last, I mean the second to last, 228 looks blue. And it is very beautiful. This is like a tropical shade to me. Oops, sorry. I've been working back on my coconut dream Pinterest board or whatever. And I added something to the board the other day, which was an eyeshadow called Tropical. And it looked exactly like this. I'll put it on screen. That is so cute. Looks like water, like beach water. Okay, last color, 230. And let's get a swatch. Amazing, look at this. This reminds me of Beauty and the Beast, Belle, like her dress. It's a golden yellow. It's not mustardy. It's like a true canary, in person at least. You can get away with one coat, but if you want it really even from top to bottom, it's probably a good idea to do two, because there are some like streaky spots or like spots that are lacking pigment on that first coat, but it's preference, really. That went by so fast, wow. There's so many, Ooh. They look really nice next to each other too, wow. All right. I'm so excited to do my set. Like I said in the intro, my set using these products will be in the part two. I don't know if the part two is gonna come immediately after this one or if it will be later in the month. Cause I do have some like other content I need to post. So maybe you have to post something else in between. But anyway, this is probably the prettiest set of swatches I've ever done. They're making my camera go crazy with lighting because they're so reflective. They're like reflecting back in. Let me know which one is your favorite. Unfortunately, I did not write down the numbers on here. So yeah, but if I have time during editing, I'll put them on screen. Let me know which one is your favorite. I can't stop staring at this gorgeousness. Oh my, I think my favorite is obviously this one and the tropical one, and I really actually like the yellow too. Okay, let's move on. I don't know if I showed you guys that he came out with some glow powders, and I actually received these before, so this is my second set of glow powders. Pigmented, 
I got the nudes too. If you were interested in the nudes, they're definitely worth it. There were like full coverage nudes, um, sheer nudes for like ombres and different shades that would suit everyone. Something about neon glow powders feels so summery. So freaking summer. Okay, I love it. Let's swatch. I'm just gonna go for this one. And grab a bead of the yellow. Super smooth. That was really easy. Really pigmented. I noticed with with every brand, the more pigmented the powder, sometimes if it's not high quality, it's harder to work with, but the quality is not sacrificed in these because they're still laying really smoothly and picking up really smooth. So that is really nice. They almost have like this gel-like consistency when I use the Enel powders. And everything goes together. So if you're gonna use his powders, I would suggest using the brushes and the monomer together. You don't have to. You really don't have to. But I noticed a difference using everything together. And I'm like cleaning my brush here on the pop on the paper right here, and there's like nothing really coming off. Which is good. It's gonna be like a clean process. You're not gonna have stuff sticking to your brush. Nothing sticking to my brush. There's not a bunch of like pigment leaching out. So all good things. Really, really good. Doing two beads to fill up this swatch stick. The monomer just like instantly soaks the bead. There's nothing worse than a bead that's like dry on one side. Ugh. I'm getting a little cloudiness with this blue, but after patting it out, it's going away. And let's get this purple in here. This is an interesting purple. It's like a true purple, but I see a little bit of hot pink mixed in here. It's not marbling exactly, but I do see some pink standing out more. Okay. Now, I'm gonna grab all of these. These are what the colors are looking like without being charged up by the UV. Um, this is the matte side. Let me show you the shiny side. Here is the shiny side. Here is what they look like. I think I had it in there for like 30 seconds. These two are hella bright. This is green, this is yellow, purple, pink, and blue. So yeah. I know this looks so exciting right here, but let's wait for that till the end. Let's go into this power bank. Super quick charge, fast charger, power bank. Compatible for all USB charging devices. That's really good to know. And you're on the go and you don't have anywhere to plug in your devices. You could get this and then it looks like you start charging it and it will indicate 
like how charged up it is. So I'm gonna start charging this right now as we were filming and check in with you guys to let you know like how long it took to get fully charged or whatever. And then once it's charged, we can like test it out. It has a lanyard, which is nice. The design is really cute. It's plastic. This feels like a leather top, but it's like plastic texture. Capacity 4,800 mAh. So that's that. Very cool. Okay, I figured it out. It's charging now. And there's like indicator lights that are going across it showing that it's charging. Let's look at the flower table lamp. Let me zoom out. All right. Here's what the box looks like. Flashy flower lamp, 18 watts, 50,000 hours of reliable power, no harm to your hands, no harm to eyes, compatible with all kinds of gel polish. That's nice. I like that this is small. I really like the shape and color. Ooh, this is so cute. Okay, so it has like a very wide base down here and the base is also like heavy, so it's not gonna like move easily. And you just bend it into this shape. It's a cute like tulip. These are what the bulbs are looking like. Let me plug her in. I think I said it in my Model 1's video that this is my favorite kind of lamp to flash cure with because you can get that really straight cure. The cord is really long, which is so necessary. And it looks like to get it started, you just press this little button right here on the side. And then we have some branding right here on the front. Let me plug it in. Okay, I just moved away my Temu one. <laughs> this one has replaced the Temu lamp because it's so much cuter. And let's turn it on. Boom, perfect, so cute. Let's look at this new cookie lamp that he sent me. I actually feel like I have this already. Um, I know I have the corded one. I don't know if I have the cordless one. I might have gave it away one time. But let's look at this again anyways. So the specs are... It cures all gels, UV gel, builder gel, LED gel. Has preset for 30, 60, and 100 seconds. Um, what's the wattage? There's 48 beads in there, or lights in there, 96 watt, okay. Cool. So this is cordless. So I like cordless lamps for doing feet. I think I'm gonna actually like, Possibly, I think the reason I haven't replaced my um, Barbie lamp is because the Barbie lamp has a wider opening right here, which is just ideal for me. I just like having a wider space. This one's a little bit more small. The base is very heavy, but I imagine it's because it contains power. But this is what it looks like. So freaking cute, a beautiful travel lamp a great pedicure lamp so this one it's not auto detection which probably is a feature to save power but it does obviously turn on when you press the button i also got nail remover wraps or cotton branded box they're pink If you don't know how to use these for your soak offs, like if you have like gel polish or something, you'll scrape off the like top layer to get it started with your file. And then you like open this and there is a cotton pad soaked with acetone in here and you put it on top of your nail like this. When you pull back this, this is all sticky right here and you kind of just like start closing it up around your finger you wrap it and then you use this to help you wrap it more actually i think i did that wrong 
with this sticky part right here. So yeah, wrap it down. <laughs> you can tell that I don't use these, but I've seen how they work. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Using this uh, clear part to like get a tight wrap. And then you leave it. You can even do like this. And then you can still like walk around and have your nails soaking off. And then I think it has some information on the back. 10 minutes. So yeah, just make sure the cotton pads at the top. Okay. I love that because don't nobody want to do no soak offs. Anyway, let's look at these new nails. Salon Square. She looks really cute. Okay, number four is usually my middle finger. Let's look at her. Ooh, okay. Salon Square is hella cute. She has mm, not a, she has like a flatter C curve. And this is what it's looking like. If I were to wear this, I would like bring the edges in, the sidewalls in to be straighter because they're kind of wide. This is still hella cute though. I love the length. That is Salon Square. Let's look at Salon Almond. These are new to me. Seven is usually like my index finger. This is really gorgeous actually. Salon Almond has, this is kind of a tight fit. I should size up, but that Salon Almond, it does have quite the apex. So you will need to like press down, I think. Let me just get a bigger size. Let me get this five. I love the shape of these. I love the shape of these. Of course, all the nails are pre-etched all along the inside. The top is shiny. Okay, now I don't know what shapes do. These are both cute. It says Fantastic Square, but is that really the right name? I thought these were like 10XL Square. I don't know. But these are the mega ultra long squares. I'll confirm the actual correct name. Look at this. I did a video using these as a demo. I'll have it linked. But if this is your vibe, you know what to do. All right. I think he gave me two of these. Yeah, I have two of these. I smell a giveaway. <laughs> I think for the part two, we're gonna give away the extras. So subscribe and stay tuned for that. What else do we have? Famous stiletto. These are a long stiletto. My, my, my. My, my, my. This is like the Cardi B nail. <laughs> no games. Not a single game was played. <laughs> Fantasy coffin. Long coffin shape. Let's check her out. She is sculptured. She has a very high apex. Fantasy coffin is like that. Our coffin girls die hard. They know what they like and they're not changing for anyone. Coffin is that girl. Coffin is like, to me, obviously, I can only speak for myself, but I feel like it's where I started with shapes because that's what all my friends were asking for at first. And we slowly moved into like stiletto and square after. This one's called Fantasy Stiletto. I think we did just look at this. Yeah, I think this is the one we just looked at. Those are all the new nails I have right here. Which one is your favorite? I think I'm gonna go for those almonds when I do my set. And now let's get into some fun stuff. I showed you these in my previous video. So you're familiar with these iridescent charms. We have like heart shapes, square shape, 
emerald shape and ovals. I'm gonna let this cut out. He wants to go outside and play. All right, sorry about that. Um, so you saw those iridescent shapes. We also have a wheel of pearls. Pearl wheel. These are so pretty. They have an iridescent shine on top. You have like this diamond shape, a square shape, ovals. Is that a flower shape? Oh no, we have heart shapes down here. Cute. I'm so excited about these charms. Let me open them up and give you a close look. Holy cow. It's giving the Sailor Moon bow. They're so detailed and delicate. Let's get close. So you have these 3D bows, right? This one has like three different crystal clear charms with like a pearl at the bottom. This one has a pink heart. This one has an AB heart. This purple one has an AB heart with a pearl at the bottom and top. This is like the prettiest freaking charms ever. I love them. Love, love, love. I'm gonna definitely use those. We also have some like mixed colors charms. These are really funky and cute. They have a curved back so they will lay flat on your nail. Absolutely adorable. They have like this pearlescent base, metallic base, which is textured. Statement piece for sure. So cute. Watch me end up using all this stuff together. <laughs> and then I'm so excited about these. I already used these because I couldn't help or contain my excitement when I saw them. If you saw my Focalore makeup video, the nails I had on had some of these. Look at these beautiful flowers. They have this AB sheer on top, like they have chrome rubbed onto them. They're perfectly made and they have a cluster of charms in the middle. I can't get over them. the beauty and just effortless slay of this, putting this on. It looks like you really did something, like you really spent a lot of time. Because honestly, if I saw this on someone's nails, I would have thought they made it. And I love that saving time. Finally, for charms, let's get into these new um, fairy, I think these are called fairy rhinestones or fairy diamonds or something like that, but these colors are new. The colors I had before were more of like a pastel shade, and these have a lot more saturation and pigment to them. We have two different greens. This one's pulling teal, and this one's pulling like AB on the front. Don't look at the back side, look at the front of them to really see the color. So yeah, these definitely have more blue, blue look. I'm sorry about my nails, by the way. And then we have this super hot pink with the blue pigment kind of in there. Not pigment, a blue reflex. And then these are just all blue, amazing. Those are all of our charms. We got through this actually fast. I do want to show you again these pink, I think these are called the pink crystal brushes. I've showed you guys these before, but just in case no one saw them, we have a pumice on one side for this brush. Actually, this is just a pumice, pumice brush for pushing back the cuticle. There's nothing on the other side. It has a diamond handle. This one here is a very fine art brush and it has like this rose gold cap, very high quality. I love the handle. And this one is actually an acrylic brush. So these come as a set. So you get different types of brushes in the set. I think I used this brush before because it has paint on it. Different lengths of art brushes so yeah i just wanted to remind you of those 
And last, let's look at these cute stickers. Look at these. Isn't this the Tory brand? I don't know a lot about it, but that's what it looks like. These are hella freaking cute. We have, is this Coco Chanel? Yeah, it is. Coco Chanel stickers. Um, some cute, it's like Easter vibe with the unicorns. Some more Chanel patterns. I love, 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 love these. I love these too. These are really cute. Oh my God. I like this with the bird. Another one. These are white, so they're kind of hard to see, but it's that Chanel pattern in white. And that's everything for the Eno Couture unboxing part. I'm gonna go transfer footage and sync up my audio stuff and then come back and we will do another unboxing with some nail mail from my friend that she sent me around Valentine's Day. And then I have one more thing to show you after that, so we'll be right back. We're gonna do the friend mail, nail mail. This is from Mermaiden. I'll have her information on screen so you guys can follow her. And this is like my second or third time getting friend mail. Oh, I'm so excited. There's like cute hearts on the front. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Bethany. I wanna show the front so bad because it's going with the theme. Oh my God. I love you. Love, love, love. I celebrate V Day all the time. Oh my God, this is so cute. Why is this so freaking cute? This is so cute. Look at it. Oh my God. 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 Let's get it all. I want all of it. I'm gonna keep this too. <laughs> I use this for my backdrops. Thank you so much, you beautiful woman. Look. Sailor Moon. Oh my god, is this a secret society kitty? <laughs> I love, I love, I love. Thank you, thank you. I'm literally gonna tear these up. I'm gonna get into these and eat the heck out of these. Thank you. Look at the doggies. Oh my God. This is so sweet. And she sent me this pink cherry push pop, red cherry push pop. Okay, this is the letter. This was on the outside of the packaging, these glitter hearts. Ooh, this is so cute. Ooh, I see glitter. <laughs> yes. You light up my life. <gasps> oh my God. Love you, boo. 10 toes down, <laughs> 10 fins down. <laughs> I'm in love, I'm in love. Oh my God. Oh, <gasps> girl, this is so freaking cute. Thank you. I've never had stuff like this before. Coconut and watermelon moisturizer, hemp seed, and then hemp seed hydrating hand cream. Oh, girl, it's gonna make my hands cute. I love this. She told me there was something tropical in here. I'm so ready for summer, you guys. Thank you so much, Bethany. You guys check my friend out. 
she's selling like press on nails i'm not sure 100 exactly if she's still selling them or not but regardless she has a youtube channel which will be linked she has a pop-in instagram if you're into nails fashion beauty this is my good sis we also have some collabs that we've done together so definitely check out her content and thank you so freaking much you literally you light up my life <laughs> you light up my freaking life So this is the last section of the video and it's going to seem kind of random but this isn't this is stuff that I got from an Amazon seller who wanted to do a promotion on my channel and show you guys my audience some of the stuff that they have to offer so they have a bunch of like random things they have stuff related to nail art to beauty I got to choose through three things to present to you guys and show you and I have so many like different nail art items that when I saw their nail art stuff, it didn't really like attract me because I already had it. Um, but I did see these three items that I don't have. And I also like the fact that they come in bulk for a very affordable price. So I do my eyebrows by myself and this is like what I use most of the time, but I also pluck, but the eyebrow shaper, I got that from them and this is 60 pieces so you're getting like that bulk beauty supply price or whatever because if you went to the beauty supply and bought these like one at a time it'd be like a dollar or whatever for like a couple of them but you get a better value buying on amazon in bulk so i chose that this is gonna last me forever forever and I think it's good to buy stuff like this in bulk because you want to use like a clean sanitized blade as frequently as you can. My little black cat, my little black cat girl is so, she's like crying so much. I don't know why. She knows I'm here. She sees me, but she just cries. Um, then I also chose to get 15 pieces of these X-Acto knives, which is something that I use when I'm doing 3D nail art. I will like cut the 3D nail art to create shapes or you will like often see nail artists cut the acrylic while it's on the nail to cut exact shapes and stuff. When you're doing that, the blade quite often gets dirty and it's just a pain in the, you know what, to clean it. So 15 pieces, a bulk price, a bulk amount, and you have endless sharp clean blades. So if you want to use it in a disposable way. You can if you just want to have a bunch of them so that you don't have to like clean a lot in between clients that's an idea for you so i got that these will these things will all be linked down below the last amazon find are these heart shaped makeup removers but when i saw these and there are 50 pieces in here when i saw them I thought I would use this for like washing my face. So it's just like this cloth or whatever. And then I guess when you get it wet, you take off makeup easily with it. Well, the audio quality might be suffering a bit because I don't have my external mic or whatever, but I just want to do a quick clip of a demonstration. I have a glass of water. Let's dunk one of these in. And let's see how long it takes. Oh wow, that like instantly turned into a sponge. I'm really impressed. I didn't think it was gonna take, I didn't think it was gonna be instant. I thought it was gonna take like five minutes. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's sponged out. Let me like drain the water. Wow, that is so freaking dope. The next thing I wanna try is like, how does it remove makeup? Like how well? And just for a reminder, let's see the before and after. This is after the sponge is in water and this is before. It's a tiny thin little sponge. And the places where I just touched it with water are sponging up, that's so cool. This is really cool. So for like travel reasons, I could see this being so discreet and helpful to keep in your bag. 
for like overnight and stuff. Let me try taking off makeup real quick with it. So you see this on my hand. I'm gonna dunk her back in the water just to get some water. Let's see what happens. Oh my. Okay, she works. She works pretty well. Um, that's impressive. I thought I was gonna need like makeup remover. So another cool thing is that I don't see the eyeliner on the sponge. I see the eyeliner on this puddle on my table. It's like gray. So it seems like the makeup comes off in the water. It doesn't really stick to the sponge as much. It's really gonna be a test when I try it with foundation, but I love this. <laughs> as someone who's trying to be less like wasteful, I was about to buy makeup wipes the other day and now I see why I wasn't able to get them because I literally have like the perfect makeup wipe right here. So I think it was like, I think it was like 10 bucks for these. That's pretty good to me because they're like reusable too. It feels very sturdy. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart. I'm impressed. I've never seen anything like this before. Those are the three items. These will be linked down below. And that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this content, give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Did anything catch your eye here? Let me know what item it was. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful, amazing day or night, wherever you are. And I will see you guys in the next one. I love you so much. Bye.